Whoa, okay. 2015, I'm graduating. Here's my, uh, what the, we had a most likely to be recruited by Apple. I'm not in that. All right, so here I am. All right, this kid, does he look like he knows what's going on? Because so that kid definitely doesn't know how, how to do anything. I know why, because uh, this is how I applied to colleges. I looked at US News for top computer science schools, and then I just went down the list and applied to each one. Yeah, I didn't even know UIUC or where Illinois was until I applied. I don't know my states that well, so Illinois, I was just like, oh, it's not California, that's cool, let's apply. And then the day of acceptance comes out, I check my acceptance letter from UIUC, and I got accepted with an asterisk. That day, I think it was like, it was a school day, and so I called the advisor during lunch, and then I was like, oh, so what does this mean? And then the advisor was like, oh, you're technically accepted, but you have to choose these other majors. You're not accepted for computer science. And I was like, okay, could I transfer into computer science? And then the advisor was like, yeah, like 30% of students transfer in their college years. So no worries. And I was like, are you sure about that? And then she's like, yeah. So I was like, okay, sounds good. <laughs> so I clicked accept and I haven't been to this school before. I barely know what Illinois meant. I haven't lived in snow since I've been in California my whole life. So I was like, let's go to Illinois. Fly to Illinois. When I first get there, I walk in to the engineering hall and I was like, hey, I'm trying to transfer into computer science. How do I do that? And they're like, here are the requirements that you need. 3.67 GPA, A's in two of these classes. And that those two classes aren't classes that you can take in your first semester. These are classes that you can take in your second semester. So basically I had to wait at least a year before I could transfer. And I was like, okay, that's fine. Those two seem like easy criteria. While that's happening though, they said, because you need a 3.67 GPA uh, and we don't want people to just take like easy classes and just get a 4.0, you have to kind of match the classes of your peers who are actually in CS. So I was like, okay, first things first, let me mark my classes that I can normally take. And they're like, are you going to take Calculus 2 or Calculus 3? And I was like, okay, do I need to take Calculus 3? And they're like, yes, you have to take Calculus 3 eventually. You don't have to take it now, but you can take it later. So I was like, well, I don't want to take it later. I'll just take it now. So I took Calculus 3. That was my biggest first big mistake. Calculus 3 ended up being 9 a.m. class, with a professor with a super heavy accent that I had no idea what he was talking about and was falling asleep half the time because I don't know what he was saying at 9 a.m. So I was like, okay, I need to get a 3.67 GPA, otherwise I'll, I can't transfer. So I was like, okay, there's three different calculus professors. Their classes are like 9 a.m., 11 a.m., and like 2 p.m. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna take those three classes. So that way, if I don't understand at 9 a.m., I can understand at 11. If I don't understand at 11, I'll understand at 2. And then, so every Tuesday, Thursday, I would go to office hours, four to six, and just stay there doing my homework, asking questions, the whole thing, because I couldn't understand anything from the lecture. Here is my results for that first semester. This was the second hardest class. Calculus was the first hardest. And then my ending result was I got a C plus on calculus and a B plus on chemistry. That meant my starting GPA for the first semester it was 3.48. So that was my first semester. I was like, holy, I'm gonna fail. Okay, this is a lot harder than I thought, but I've already passed in the first semester. I, I've already started. So semester two, this is the time where I was like, I could take the two classes that are required. I could get a 4.0 and then if I get 3.48 and I get a 4.0, it should even out so I could get definitely over 3.67. Semester two happens. Okay, it turns out the classes were a little harder than I anticipated. CS-173, that was the first class that I needed an A, and CS-225, that's the second class I needed an A. I got an A and a B plus. So my ending GPA for that semester was 3.77, and together it was a 3.62. So I'm in a bit of a predicament, because I'm not 3.67, I'm 3.62, and I also didn't get an A on that second class that I needed to get an A. 
So I talked to the advisor and they're like, the next class that you take on the, on the path for CS, you have to get an A on that class. If you get an A in that class, you have the two A's required for transfer. And then you need to make sure your GPA is over 3.67. So for me, this was like, okay, this is, this is very important. Semester three, this is, I'm already in my second year of college at this point. If I can't transfer here, I might as well transfer to a different school where I'm just a computer science major. It started off very rough because why, why would it start off easily? I first needed to get into this class. So there's a hold, like they prevent non-CS students from getting into a, this CS class until the semester starts. I asked the advisors, I was like, when is this class gonna open up? And they said, sometime today. I don't know when, sometimes today. So I wrote a program that will go on my computer and I just go on the computer, I go on the website and it basically just moves my mouse, copies and pastes the class, clicks apply to get into the class. 6 a.m. I woke up, I was like, okay, I'm gonna start this program and then throughout the day, I just let it run. 9 a.m. rolls around, I'm like, oh, let me go check on my program, see if I got in. And then I check my program, my computer basically crashed. Like the website's gone, I was like, what happened? I called, <laughs> I called my advisor, I was like, hey, I can't log into the site to apply for classes, what's going on? They said, oh, let me check your thing. And they're like, you've been locked out. Because apparently my bot, that you're only allowed to apply for classes through that website like a thousand times. They're like, you only allowed a thousand. You applied, you used all 1000. So you can't go through this website to apply for classes anymore. Well, that sucks because I didn't get into that class. I wasted all of them. How do I get, how do I sign up for a class now? The advisor was like, so you have to go to the administration office for your college and then they have to sign up the class for you. So I went over to the Dean's office, the administration's office, told them my situation. And they were like shaking their head. They're like, God, did you make a bot? Did you, were, did you like buy this bot online? And then you just try to sign up for classes. And I was like, what the, I have a little respect. I made this bot. But either way, I was still locked out. I sat outside that office for like two hours, just doing some work, checking, 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 checking. And then luckily while I was at the office, right before I had to like go to a class, the class opened up. There's like five positions, five seats opened up. So I ran over, went to the office. I was like, hey, it opened. Can you do the thing, whatever, sign me up real quick? I got into the class. So this is the final result for semester three. This was the hard class that I had to get into. And then I got an A. That semester, I got a 4.0, which means my cumulative at that time was a 3.73. So fall 2016, I was it. I was like, okay, I barely clutched it. So I was like, okay, I'll apply. And then I don't know if I don't get in, I don't, I have to figure it out. If I do get in, thank God. So that winter break at 7.41 AM, I got a letter from the College of Engineering saying, congratulations, I'm pleased to inform you that your request to transfer has been granted. God, Jesus, that was insane. Moral of the story is know what you want because when you know what you want, the obstacles that you have to overcome become tasks that you just have to get done. That's gonna be today's video. No vlog for today because I wanted to try telling a story. Um, tomorrow will be another vlog. Bye. A story of how I got into UIUC's computer science program. Now I don't do computer science, I'm just on YouTube.